Well, Juwan, what did it take to get you guys to snap out of it and take care of this one? Uh, I mean, we just kept fighting. You know, we came out and we did a lot of things wrong early. Um, we wasn't really playing with the intensity that we need to play with. And I think for the most part, we kind of just took these guys lightly. Um, you know, somebody made a, a comment yesterday in practice, let's get ready for Puerto Rico. So, you know, that, that right there said that as a team, we kind of look past, you know, these first two games that we have. So, you know, hopefully that, that woke us up and uh, we should get back on track now. Coach Huggins yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, said something about how, how you know, the half-court offense is a work in progress at this point. I mean, was that just what we were seeing, that you guys haven't gotten it to the point where everybody's on the same page, knows where each other is going to be? Yeah, I mean, well, we have a lot of new players, you know, a lot of guys that have ran different type of systems and, you know, played in a lot of different offenses. So, you know, that's something that's still coming along. Right now, I would say our defense is something that needs to carry us, and for the most part, that's what it did. So. You know, and until we can get our offense clicking on all cylinders, we got to uh, depend on our defense. Was there a point in that second half where you said, I have to step up, I, I've got to do something? It seemed like you got a, a jumper, multiple trips to the line, and you were the one who really pushed the team offensively, at least, to, to get the lead. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, they had us down. I don't know how much. I, one time I looked up there, I think it was 13, and we were down. And, you know, that's just not, not, that's not West Virginia basketball, especially not this early in the season against these type of opponents. So. Um, you know, with having a lot of new players, uh, I just felt that it was me, and I need to step up and do something. You know, I'm capable of scoring, getting people involved, so I just had to step up and make plays. How about that, uh, the full court, and just putting that kind of pressure on them, forcing a lot of turnovers? I know you were over 20 again. Um, what What's working in that regard, and, and how is that something that could maybe save you when you are in a drought offensively? Uh, well, I mean, we have numbers, so uh, I don't think there's any team out there that's as deep as us, so. We plan to just wear people down over 40 minutes. You know, it may not um, look like that in the first half, as you can see out there. But as the time goes on, you know, teams, especially with only one ball handling, we're gonna try to wear them down and you know just pound on them until they give us the ball at the end. Could you talk a little bit about the 2-3 uh, zone and how that was frustrating you trying to get the ball inside? And... Um, well, they played a 2-3 zone, but they mixed it up a little bit. You know, after one pass, they would drop into man. Another pass, they'd be back in zone. So they kind of kept us off balance a little bit. Uh, I think we got the shots that we wanted close. We just we didn't cash in when we needed to, and that's something that we're going to keep working on. But for the most part, uh, when we tried to go inside, I think we got the, good, the shot that we wanted. So, I mean, that's just something we got to continue to practice. How about your shot from outside? It looked like you were a little bit more comfortable uh, getting up and letting it go. Yeah, that's something I've been spending a lot of time on, you know, this summer. Uh, just something I, I have to definitely be able to do, you know, to be effective this year because defense are going to play me a lot different than they did last year. So, you know, I'm just stepping up and taking a shot with confidence. Thanks, Will.